You know, though, on a day like this, especially if you're downtown Cleveland, parking, woo, it is really hard to come by. And you know, with parking spaces at a premium, the cost to park your car went up too. We saw prices, uh, the $80 mark, park right along East 9th Street, the garage by Progressive Field, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, uh, a little more affordable. We saw $60 there. Prices at the Muni lot were all the way up to $50. So adding to all that traffic today that we're seeing downtown Cleveland, as we've been saying, it is opening day. It's a home opener for the Cleveland Guardians. Oh yeah, let's put that <laughs> into the mix. Uh, let's take a live picture here, Progressive Field, two hours before first pitch. Uh, this is what it looked like, this is a live picture, sorry. Uh, this is what it looked like during the total solar eclipse. Yeah, John Doss has been live at Progressive Field all day there where the Guardians, they are taking the league's second best record into their home opener. Let's get that W. Yeah, guys, any other year, no question, this is the main event, and it probably will be for, what, the next 400-plus until we see this again. But it's hard to top this global event that we saw today, this uh, totality here at Progressive Field and what a, an experience it was. But now we move on to the ball game, And you said it, Katie, the Guardians off to a hot start. It's difficult to start the season on the road for 10 straight games. We'll make it nine after yesterday's postponement in Minnesota. But Cleveland coming out of that nine-game stretch with a seven and two record and bringing that momentum here. Nearly perfect start to the season. Uh, I mean, yeah, if we won two more of those games, it'd probably be better. But I mean, yeah, it's definitely a really good start. Um, offense is clicking. We got some some really good starts from the pitchers. Obviously, bummer about Shane, but I think the thing about us, we're just going to keep rolling. No, we feel good. Um, you know, this team's really, really close. And, you know, we have a, obviously a rookie manager at the helm, which is unbelievably exciting. And, you know, we're just trying to click on all cylinders. All right, so now the guys can focus on baseball, but just uh, about an hour or so ago, they were focusing on the same thing all the rest of us were. Here's Cameron Justice. Opening day. Since 1994, Cleveland's ballpark has sold out for the first home baseball game of the season. But this opening day drew baseball fans and astronomy enthusiasts alike out to the park. I'm extremely excited for the eclipse, and I really want the Guardians to win. Astronomy and astrophysics is one of my hobbies. So this is this is what you live for. The excitement of a total solar eclipse palpable as fans enter the stadium, taking their glasses to their seats for a once in a lifetime experience. I think it's going to be kind of a surreal experience. Um, really seeing I'm interested in seeing how everyone reacts to it. But it wasn't just the fans at Progressive Field a buzz on Monday afternoon. It's going to be it's going to be beautiful. I mean, <laughs> that's got to be a fit, right? <laughs> Guardians players just as excited to experience totality at home field. It just feels it feels surreal. It feels like it's, it's all planned. It's just it's just a really cool experience. It's unbelievable. You know? I think everyone can just take it in. That's the best thing they can do and just recognize how special it truly is. And as the moon eclipsed the sun and Cleveland fell into totality, here at Progressive Field, players and fans both looked up at the sky together in awe and excitement. Oh, oh, I'm starting to peer out now. I mean, that. We're hearing, it, we're, hearing the, we're hearing them scream now, so I mean, this is a cool experience for sure. I'm, I really like like space stuff, like learning about it and like the planets, and I just think that the eclipses are really cool. A total eclipse of the park, a once-in-a-lifetime moment in Cleveland, not soon forgotten. I mean, we're a, you know, we're a species that's floating on a rock out in space. I think everyone needs to take into consideration just how special this is and how precious life is. Um, I know that that's probably pretty deep for an eclipse, but it's just one of those kind of moments that we need to take in and, and understand that's really special. At Progressive Field, Cameron Justice, News 5.